Hello everybody, let's look at some adding and subtracting of square roots. And the main thing you want to think here is adding and subtracting your like terms or combining your like terms. For example, here if I have four kittens plus three kittens, well, that's going to leave me with seven kittens total. Now in this different scenario here, I've got four kittens plus three cheesecakes. Well, in no scenario would I ever want to combine this kitten with this cheesecake. That would just be ridiculous. So if I add four kittens plus three cheesecakes, I just end up with four kittens plus three cheesecake. If they are not identical, you cannot combine them. So let's take a look at this example here. Four root five plus three root fives. This is basically saying I have four square root of fives plus three square root of five. So in total, since these are my like terms, I'm gonna end up with seven square root of five. That's just four plus three root fives. Here we have six root two minus 10 root two. Let's check if we have like terms. Root two, root two, good. So if I do six root twos minus 10 root twos, that's gonna leave me with negative four square root of twos. Just doing six minus 10 square root of twos. What about this guy here? 3 root 3 minus 5 root 6 plus 2 root 3. Alright, let's find our like terms. Here I see I have a square root of 3 here and a square root of 3 here. So, that means I could combine this 3 with this 2. If I do 3 plus 2, that's going to give me 5 square root of 3. We're left with this negative 5 root 6. Because this is not a like term, with root 3, we cannot combine it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tag this negative 5 root 6 right on to the end. Negative 5 square root of 6. And this will be our simplified answer. 5 root 3 minus 5 root 6. Alright, let's check this one out. 4 square root of 2 plus 3 square root of 50. Well, it's obvious that we don't have like terms, square root of 2 and square root of 50, so we cannot combine this 4 and 3. But, think about this. What if we simplified one of these first? You always want to see if you can simplify any square roots before you try to combine. So, here we've got a 4 square root of 2. A 2 will break down to 1 times 2, and we cannot simplify that. What about the square root of 50? This can break down into 5 times 10. 10 can break down into 5 times 2. It looks like we have a pair of 5s or a 5 squared, so we can simplify one of those 5s out. That's going to give us this whole term of 3 times 5, which is 15, and we're left with this lonesome 2 here inside the square root. Square root of 2. Now, if we combine that with our original, we still have 4 root 2 here plus 15 root 2. All we did was change this 3 root 50 into 15 root 2. Now, what? We do have like terms. 4 squared of 2 plus 15 squared of 2. That's going to leave us with 19, 4 plus 15, 19 square root of 2. Alright, take a look at this problem here and see if you can think of what your strategy would be to simplify this. Okay, I want you to notice there's a plus sign in the parentheses here. This square root of 2 is multiplying in because of this parentheses to the 3 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 3. So, you would distribute. So this square root of 3 is going to have to multiply to both of these terms inside the parentheses. So this square root of 2 times 3 square root of 2, the 3, it's, remember it's like there's a 1 out here, so that would be 3 times 1, which would give you 3, and then square root of 2 times square root of 2, which would give you the square root of 4, doing 2 times 2. Next we have to do square root of 2 times 6 square root of 3, that 6 times 1 would be plus 6. And inside the square root, we'd do square root of 2 times square root of 3 would be square root of 6. Okay, let's check if we could simplify anything from here. Well, we don't have like terms, 
So let's see if we can break these down. I know the square root of 4 is 2, right? As we see that we get a pair of 2, so that'll give us 3 times 2, which would be 6. But there's nothing left, so just that 6. And now this 6 here, this could break down to 2 and 3, but we can't simplify that, so we're just going to leave it plus 6 square root of 6. And that's going to be our answer.